Hi, this is Mark Zamoida. This is the third video on Xcode assembly language, uh, the very basics of it all. Let's start up Xcode here. So another point I want to make that's really important is we know we're going to be building for an iOS device. And one of the things I want to look at is the concept of these build configurations. Normally, you're in, uh, you start off in debug mode. Let me pull it up here. Our build configuration starts off in debug, and it also has a release configuration. The main difference between debug and release is that the release configuration is optimized. So let's just make sure we're in the debug configuration. And let's take this C function, and let's turn it into something even more useless than it already is. We'll make an integer i equals five, and then we'll say i equals six, and then we'll say i equals seven, and it's still a void function, so i is just going to disappear. We're not even going to return it or anything. So let's go to product, generate output, assembly file, and let's look at basically what happened. Um, here's our foo function, and these are all our commands here uh, for those few lines of useless code. Um, I don't expect you to understand this yet. I am going to make a series on, you know, how to program the ARM, like exactly what all these commands mean. But for now, we can just, you know, just to basically look at it, we, um, wait, let's just go back here. We started sitting at the 5, 6, and 7. So, uh, it takes the value 7, and it just stores that in register 0, it takes the value 6 and stores that in register 1, it takes the value 5 and stores that in register 2, but basically it's it's doing the code that we told it to do, and then it, uh, uh, str stands for store register, so it takes the register 2, which is 5, value 5, and it puts that on the stack, stack pointer, and the same with register 1, it takes the value 6, puts that in memory and takes register 0, value 7, and puts that in memory, and then it just returns. And that memory will just disappear, become useless. So obviously that is not optimized, because our build configuration is debug. Um, let's change that now to a release configuration. I'll we'll click done and I'll recreate the assembly file. We look for our foo function and yeah, it's empty now. Like we go down to our return command, our branch out of here command, but all that useless stuff is gone. And the reason why it's gone is because for one, it's useless and also, um, you know, our, our build configuration, uh, I, I hit option and run to build up the build configuration, but that was set to release. Um, you're probably saying uh, if this was really optimized, it would just completely remove this function from the system. And most likely it does. Like if we tried to, to run this here um, from foo, while we're in release mode, it would probably just erase this and we would just skip right over it with the debugger. So yeah, I mean, it, it is really optimized when, you, when you're building in a release configuration. And you always need to be aware of that when you're converting C code into assembler.